everybody to Heather's East Kitchen. On tonight's video, guys, we are going to be making some fried whiting. I got this fish from my local fish market. We're going to be using some very simple ingredients tonight, guys, but it is going to have your fish tasting delicious. So if you want a good recipe for some whiting, make sure you guys stay tuned for this video. All right, guys, so we're going to start off by seasoning the fish. I already patted it dry and rinsed it off because this is frozen whiting from Walmart. So it's not fresh from the actual market. It's a frozen pack of fish. But we're gonna go ahead and get it seasoned up. And I'm gonna start off by using the Morton seasoning, guys, and season both sides of my meat, or my fish, shall I say. So you do wanna season both sides of your fish, guys. So that's where we're gonna start off. It's a noise. And the seasoning, batter that I'm using tonight guys already has seasoning in it as well so you don't want to over season it you know what I'm saying because you don't want it to be too salty or at least I don't want it to be too salty because we don't use a lot of salt in my home anymore and trying to be good guys and cut back so you see I'm just putting a little generous amount on each fish patty or fish And before I flip it over, guys, I'll always rub it in just to get the seasoning down in the meat. I rub it in. And I always do skin side down first. I mean, skin side up first, guys. I don't know why. Just something that I do. All right, guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the second side seasoned. And again, guys, you can fluctuate on this part as much or as less as you want for your taste buds. We don't have a lot of salt in my household, so we just use a little bit. And now we're going to put that old bay on there. And guys, I also have fried my fish in canola oil over the years and vegetable oil, but my favorite so far has been the canola and the peanut oil it, it really has the fish tasting really delicious so i do like how those two turn out so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this in and then we're going to go get the grease heated on the pan guys all right guys so we're going to batter our fish now i have put some batter inside the ziploc bag this is how i do it guys this is how i was raised you know put it in a bag shake it up to batter it and throw it in the pan. So we're gonna start off with the big piece of fish here, guys. And I just batter it, you know, one at a time. I don't do too many at a time, guys. I just batter it one at a time. Then, now I'll put another one in since this one's all the way battered. Shake it up. All right, guys, so this is the pan we're gonna be cooking the whiting in tonight. It's a nice size pan where I can cook about two to three pieces at a time. So I'm only cooking four, two for myself, two for my husband. And we're gonna have some rice on the side. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of grease in there, but you do wanna have a nice amount so it can kind of coat it once it does start to fry. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how much grease to put in your pan and what type of pan I'm using. This pan is great for cooking different type of dishes because it has an even heat. You see that little ring in the middle there, that little red ring? It really helps the temperature of the pan to stay even all the way through so there won't be any hot spots or cold spots or uneven spots. Everything's gonna be the perfect temperature as I get to frying this fish, guys. So, all right guys, so the grease is now heated up. We're gonna go ahead and drop our fish. You know, you're just gonna put one in at a time, guys. And we're gonna let it pick up some momentum here. All right, so you're gonna let each side kind of fry for about two to three minutes. I had show y'all this little process here. 
So two to three minutes per side. When it's golden brown, guys, you wanna flip it and let the other side fry for two to three minutes. And when that's golden brown, guys, we're gonna pull them out and I'm gonna show you guys the end result. All right, guys, so we are flipping the fish. I already did the first one. And we're gonna go ahead and get the second one done. You see it got the golden color. Sorry if it's got on top of it, but sometimes it happens. So this is real life. So here you have it, and we're gonna let the other side fry for another two to three minutes, and this lighting is gonna be done, guys. Looking good, guys. We're gonna go ahead and now take it out for grease. So I just let this grease strip off a little bit as much as I can into the pan, <laughs> and then I follow it up on some paper towels to drain off the rest of the grease. I look guys, look how golden that fish is, guys. Mm, this is gonna be so good. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get this second whiting bread of bacteria. These are the last two pieces, guys. Now we're going to drop these last two pieces of fish inside of the grease. And don't forget guys, two to three minutes on each side, flip them, and then two to three minutes on the second side, and your whiting is done. And I'll show you guys the finished product when I get everything plated up with my rice and my fish, guys. All right, guys, that's the first two to three minutes. This is what it should look like. And I do have my flame on medium heat right now. It's on a number five for electric stove. That's about medium. So, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take these fish out of the pan. I just flipped it one more time to let my other side get a little bit more darker. But these fish are done. This is just personal preference at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my flame off. Oh, so good, guys. Mm. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get these taken out of here. Since they're smaller, I'm able to grab them both at the same time and let it drip off some. And look at that, guys. Here you have it. Got some fried whiting. I got some Lipton rice here on the side, some Lipton chicken flavored rice. I'll show you guys the package that I'm using tonight. Very simple. Who says quick can't be delicious, guys? This is my meal for the night, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video, guys. That really does help my channel when you guys show YouTube that you like my videos. And share this with your friends and family, guys. I got some really good meals to share with everybody. Nice and simple, easy for the beginner cook. And I would really appreciate everybody's support. And thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.